What up guys, Ian Fernando here, and today I want to show you something uh, something cool with, I guess, some of my Amazon stuff. Um, what I want to show you is how I'm sourcing and how I read certain projects or products. Um, I use two plugins. I use Helium 10 um, and I also use Biobot Pro, and I want to show you how I, inter how I interact with both of them. So, uh, what you see in front of me is a spreadsheet of products that... Um, I have a source person helping me find and source instead of me actually sourcing myself. So what I basically do is I go ahead and check these products out. Like for example, I'll click on this. Then basically I take a look uh, two things. First, I look at the evaluation result provided by Helium 10, right, which is this right here. Right. This basically tells me uh, how good the listing is, like a score of the listing. Um, just because I think sometimes there are a lot of people on Amazon that list the item twice and that's kind of against the terms of service of uh, Amazon and it's really not that good. So usually if someone is gated in this uh, for this product, they list it themselves as a new product and then try to get it ranked and you'll see this is at yeah, nine ratings, only uh, yeah, nine customer rating for four out of three. So it really looks like brand new, but the problem is it's also a two pack, right? So they're going behind um, the actual original listing and listing as a two pack. So if I take a look at how much it's going to cost, nineteen ninety eight. <clears throat> I go ahead and put in Buybot Pro. And Buybot Pro BC tells me that if I can sell it or not, and if it's going to be profitable or not. So based on this current pricing, twenty nine eighty five, and if I buy it nineteen ninety eight for two, I'm at a loss at a dollar fifteen. But the thing is, I also take a look at certain things here first. So I just want to take a look at the consistency of pricing. Like this one looks like it's been at thirty seven ninety seven. So if it's sold at thirty seven, let's just change it to thirty seven. I actually make a five dollar profit on this, but more recently it looks like it dropped. Um, so this is actually Helium 10's uh, Keeper version. Um, they actually pull this data themselves and uh, rank it themselves. But then I take a look at the 90 days. It's been pretty high. 39.99 is at peak. Oh, 47.32 is at peak. And I take a look at the year. So most of the year is at 29. Average is around twenty nine, so I'll say twenty eight dollars. Uh, only one that was out of inventory is where it actually costs a lot of money, and I guess when inventory came back in, price started dropping, and you can see that by also comparing this helium ten graph to Biobot ten's uh, information here on the competition analysis, and you can see how many people have in stock. Now, I kind of ignored this one, anything in gray boxes, because this is um, fulfilled by Merchant, FBM. And I only look at whatever is in green as provided by Biobot Pro, which is fulfillment by Amazon, which I'm doing. And most users only want fulfillment by Amazon anyway. So this one's listed at $29.85, the lowest, but this one's at $36.89. So if I change this price to $36, I actually make $4.80. I'm still above my, 20, uh, my, my mark. Of well, I'm actually below 25, which is my, my, main, my main thing. And then I take a look at the estimated calculators. So out of here, the average sales for this month should be 39. In stock's about 1,000, but everybody has. I look at just FBA. Okay, so you might be able to share it, so I might be able to look at it. And the next thing I take a look at is Biobots Pro's graph. And they, take a, they actually pull from Keepa themselves. And they take a, they actually give you the graph here that's colored, meaning that it's always being bought. So every day this product's actually being bought. Just because the BSR is actually at 32, which is very, very high, I think it's a, a good product to buy. Amazon has not been this listing. FBA price averages all time 41, but then the only reason why it's skewed, I think, is because of. This here which was sixty one ninety five when it was out of inventory for I think a day or two, two or three days. Uh, looks like 
one, two, three, four, almost a week out of stock. Yeah, the reason why it went so high. But if we remove that, I want to say it's roughly $29, $29, $32 maybe. Even if I put it $32 here, I only make a dollar for you. So this kind of here is really not that profitable for me, uh, in my opinion. Um, so if you could also, the score here is low and average pricing is not where I want it to be, right? And the reason why I use Helium 10 is because this is important here. And you can see it through here in all time as well, right? And you'll see the peaks of where people don't buy, which is uh, these white spaces. Anything in the red is basically with a lot of buys. But uh, I actually just like the detail that this actually has. So you can even look at the inventory level, if anything, which will go by the competition itself. Right, and I can compare this to obviously uh, what BuyBot Pro has, uh, and all that. So, so you can see, it's all right here, right? So fifteen solid sourcing, fifteen. Uh, solid sourcing, fifteen. Yeah. So, um, but to me, this is might be a decent buy, but I personally would not buy it just because I do not think. Uh, whoops. Uh, I do not think this will be a buy just because of this skewed graph here, this small section here. And if you read a graph, it looks like it's it will not, it will probably dip back. And you can see it is dipping back. Let's take a look 24 hours or 7 days actually. It does dip back down to the normal pricing. Remember, supply and demand, you have to really understand how that works. And it's the reason why I use Helium to have a better understanding of the graph. Even though BuyBot Pro does give it to you, I do. In, like uh, Helium 10's uh, cleaner interface of the graph. To me, BuyBot Pro said I should, I do not need to buy it just because again, it will tell you the return on investment is too low, deal has low profit, and recent 30 days estimates have been great, right? But even though it's been great, doesn't mean it's really good. So I don't think it's a good buy. BuyBot Pro says it's not a good buy. Helium 10 says graphically, historically, that it might not be a good buy, so I probably won't buy this product. And that's how I take a look at my products through Helium 10 and BuyBot Pro. If you want to know more information about it, there are links in the comments or there are links in the description below. Go ahead and click on it. Um, I even wrote a review on BuyBot Pro. I have to do one with Helium 10, which is actually good. But that's it for now. Um, I do got to clean my bedroom a little bit, so I apologize for all that, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Talk to you soon. We'll